Hello, folks. This is your host, Tammy Tucky, and you are now listening to the Tierra Talk Show. We bring you rare interviews with the makers of Disney magic. Whether they be singers, actors, imagineers, animators, they have all made their mark on the Disney name. Be sure to check out the show notes, other episodes, contests, our social media pages from Facebook to Twitter, and more on our official website at www.thetierratalkshow.com. Are you looking to plan and book an upcoming Disney vacation? Contact the Tierra Talk Show's official travel agent, James from Destinations in Florida, by visiting destinationsinflorida.com backslash tiara for a free quote. The link is also included in the show notes on our website. All guest opinions are theirs and theirs alone and do not represent the opinions of the Tierra Talk Show or the host. The Tierra Talk Show is not associated with the Disney Company. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode. And from all of us here at the Tierra Talk Show, have a hoop de doo day. I'm excited to welcome this week's Tierra Talk Show guest, actor James Drury, to the show. Welcome, James. Thank you very much, Sammy. I'm, I'm go- delighted to be here with you. Oh, it's wonderful to have you here, and it's very exciting because the film Pollyanna is celebrating its 55th anniversary this year. Isn't that crazy? It's I love the film, it, and I watched it recently, and it and it's so powerful and it's positive message. I love the film, and I love the characters yeah. in it. And you got to play George, who is uh, the George, boy- yeah. yeah, George, who is the boyfriend to Nancy Olson's character, who is one of the maids at Aunt Polly's yeah. house in Pollyanna. So, can you talk a little bit about the audition? process to get the role of George and and what that experience was like well I, uh, as far as I know I didn't uh, have much of an audition process I, I I think I'd been working for Disney didn't we do Toby Tyler and uh, uh, something else uh, we did uh, Ken who dared uh, mm-hmm. before we did Pollyanna didn't we yes, wasn't you- that yeah well then Disney was were very familiar with my work and uh, and what I looked like, of course, so I think I went in and met with the producers and directors, and they said, we'd love to have you come on board. And that was uh, that was the way it usually worked with Disney. It wasn't anything arduous about it. They they usually had their mind made up before they had you come in. So uh, that part of it was, was fine. I do remember in my own mind, and this is, I've often told people this, that when I got the part in Pollyanna, I thought, oh, boy, this is, this is going to be a real dull experience because there's no there's no car chases or horse chases or fist fights or gun fights or anything in this i this is way beneath my identity i should be playing machine gun kelly or something like that you know <laughs> and uh, <laughs> i went ahead and made the film and we had uh in the film and we had a, a wonderful time making it everybody was was very compatible and uh, very friendly, and we uh, made uh, lifelong friends with Carl Malden and, and of course, uh, Dick Egan, Richard Egan, who was the leading man, and I had done uh, Love Me Tender together with Elvis Presley over at 20th Century Fox, and we were close friends, and uh, and Nancy Olson uh, is the older sister of my best friend in high school, David Olson. So wow. I had I had known Nancy for many years, and uh, it was just like uh, coming in and coming home. You know, uh, uh, everybody was very, very wonderful and very compatible. And we shot up in Santa Rosa, uh, California, uh, where we had the big Victorian house, and uh, that was a great experience and uh, probably the most classic film that I ever was involved in because they show it at least twice a day somewhere in the country. Uh, 365 days a year, you know, it's a, a picture gets shown all the time somewhere. I'm sure it's on the air today somewhere. So it's, uh, it was, it was a great, uh, opportunity and a, and a, a great thing to be involved in. And I'm very proud of it. It's, uh, it's just a great picture because it's a, it's a picture about optimism. And, uh, Pollyanna is the most uh, optimistic little girl in the world. And, and it just, uh, it just uh, comes across to people. People love to see that story. So 
And one of my favorite scenes in Pollyanna is the bazaar scene, because everybody comes together, the entire ensemble, this huge cast, comes together to have fun. So I'm, I'm guessing all the food looked real, and everybody was actually eating it, and there are fun games going on. So were there any fun little tidbits you'd like to add about filming the bazaar scene? Because you got to ride a bicycle around the D- Disney lot filming the scene. Right. We, we rode bicycles, and we had... Uh, a sign on the bicycle that said, this way to the bazaar, I think. And we were trying to get people to attract people going over there. You know, we were part of the Civic Boosters Club or something, uh, Nancy and I were. And uh, But I don't have any specific tidbits about that. I know it was took uh, several days to shoot that sequence. And because there was so much, in, so many people involved and so many so many different pieces of business involved, but uh, I don't remember anything specific about that. But that was just just part of the experience, and it was uh, it was just great. And then another project you worked on was Toby Tyler, which is about a little boy and a chimpanzee. So you had a lot of scenes uh, with the chimpanzee. Yeah. I, how did that work out? Well, I never should have shot that chimpanzee. He, uh, I've gotten a lot of criticism over the years for shooting that chimpanzee. People say, why did you shoot the chimpanzee? Well, I just shot him because I was out hunting and I thought it was some other animal. So that I didn't have a real clear picture of him, which is not very good riflemanship. And listeners, just was, to let you know, he didn't actually shoot the chimpanzee. His character did. Of course, the chimpanzee recovered, so it was all right. But uh, I did have uh, an experience on the Virginian with a, with a chimpanzee, and I got into a lot of trouble with him. He jumped on me and uh, attacked me. Because I had uh, been rehearsing with him, and we got along fine. He rode rid- around, hanging on my shoulders on horseback, and we had all kinds of fun. And then I had a, it was a scene with a bunch of little school kids, and I had been rehearsing in a quiet voice, you know. And then when we went to, the, actually went to shoot it, uh, I used my full voice, and it scared this chimp. He thought I was mad at the kids which I wasn't at all, but he thought I was mad at the kids, and he jumped on me to protect them. And he bit a divot out of my shirt and my chest hair and right down to the skin and took a big dollar-sized hole out of my chest right in the center oh with his God. teeth. And it's a good thing it wasn't my nose or it had to be gone. So I haven't worked with a chimp since and don't intend to. They, uh, they tend to be un- unreliable. Made a, made a firm vow in my life that I'm not working with any more chimpanzees. If there's a chimpanzee in the park, I'll turn it down. That's a fact. But that's not, has nothing to do with Toby Tyler. We, to, we were telling a lovely little story about a boy and a circus animal, and it works out. I, but that was a lovely picture, and I enjoyed working on that. I enjoyed, very much enjoyed that. And, and of course, Ten Who Dared was a great adventure. We had a grand time on that picture. We were up in Moab, Utah, and we actually took those wooden boats down through the rapids. And, of course, uh, nowadays they use those big rubber zodiacs and uh, and uh, boats that will bounce off the rocks, but those boats didn't bounce. They did run into a rock and put a hole in it. And we were we, we had some, some really hairy adventures on that show. I was very proud of that one, too. That was a picture that should have made more noise than it did, I think. And I cannot not mention The Virginian because there's so many people who grew up watching this TV series on NBC. With the experience of The Virginian, what did you really take away from all those years working on that project and with that character? Well, I, I really, uh, of course, enjoyed that immensely, and I, I had a grand time on that show. We had such a wonderful opportunity because we had our 90-minute format allowed our writers to write uh, big, important, juicy guest star roles for men and women. And some of the biggest people in, uh, in, the, in the industry came and worked in our show. We had Betty Davis and Joan Crawford and George C. Scott and Colleen Dewhurst and Robert Redford and uh, Harrison Ford and uh, Ralph Bellamy and, and the list just goes on and on. Every, year, every week we'd have somebody wonderful to work with. And, of course, it brought the level of art our work up, and uh, we had to had to come up and match these uh, matchless professionals, you know. And it was it was just a great situation all the way around. And I had a, a wonderful cast with me. Uh, celebrated our fiftieth anniversary. We were uh, 19, uh, 2012 was our fiftieth anniversary 
uh, well, the start of the Virginia, 1962 to 2012, and we've had several great reunions around the country with the cast, and last year was my 80th birthday, and we had a big reunion up in Swanton, Ohio, and uh, uh, I would be going to that event again this year, but I have had to cancel my whole summer schedule because of uh, my wife's health. She's not uh, doing, uh, she's not, not very real or anything, but she's got a, she's got a lot of problems, and uh, I have to stay home and take care of her. That's all I can do. I'm not, I could have people come in and take care of her, but I don't want to do that. I want to stay here with her. So we got a great love story going, and we've been together 34 years, and so I'm just uh, real happy and privileged to stay home and take care of her, and that's the, that's the size of that. I'm, I'm real happy to be here, but I'm going to miss seeing all the fans and all that that I usually do. I usually travel about twenty to 30,000 miles in the summertime, so I have three Disney questions I always ask my guests. They're called the Fab Three. We'll start with the Donald one, which is, what Disney film would you always like to watch over and over again? I I love the cartoons when they came out, and uh, I loved Snow White. And uh, my answer would probably be Pollyanna, which sounds kind of self-serving, but everything Disney's ever made has had a, that wonderful Disney sense of wonder about it. And what I want, I would like to say one word about Walt Disney. You know, he was... When he was alive and running the studio, he would come out every day, every day that the studio was working, and he would greet everybody personally, shake their hands. And I'm talking about everybody in every cast and every picture and everyone on the crew, including the guy that's, that sweeps up the horse manure in the street. You know, he would he'd go over and say, tell them good morning and shake their hands and uh, thank them for working for him. And that's a, and he was sincere about it, and that's the kind of man he was. And that he's the only guy in Hollywood that's ever been like that. And uh, I just love the man. So it's his vision that has has made everything work through the years. And the legacy lasts, especially with Pollyanna reaching its fifty fifth anniversary. The Disney legacy and everything he worked for really does stand today. And our goofy question: What Disney character do you think would be your best friend if you met them in person? Oh. Uh, I'd probably hang out with either Ben Johnson or Goofy. Goofy for the Goofy question. I love it. And then our Mickey question, if I asked you to name any Disney song at this very moment, what immediately comes to mind? Uh, well, how about that song from The Lion King? Uh, the Circle of Life, the the big first the song? Circle, the Circle of Life, yeah. That's more, oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's probably, uh, probably my favorite song of, from Disney. Well, thank you All so right. much, James, for coming on the show. This was a lot of fun, and I wanted to congratulate you again on your 80th birthday and the 55th anniversary of Pollyanna. This it was and is such a great picture. And I, whether they do anything about it or not, people will still keep watching it, and they'll be watching it, I think, hundreds of years from now. So none of us can see the future, but I can, I can, uh, I can make a pretty good prediction that that picture will be <laughs> will be watched a long time from now. So that's, uh, I agree. people are always people are always going to need to be optimistic. But no matter what your situation is, optimism will get you through. That applies to just about everything. Follow old cousin Fred to the land of strawberry frappe.